Yashar Jasher 90. At that time, in the fifth year, after the children of Yashar El had passed over the Yardan, after the children of Yashar El had rested from their war with the Kena Anim, at that time, great and severe battles arose between Edom and the children of Ketim. And the children of Ketim fought against Edom. And Abianus, king of Ketim, went forth in that year, that is, in the 31st year of his reign. And a great force with him of the mighty men of the children of Ketim. And he went to Seir to fight against the children of Esau. And Hadad, the king of Edom, heard of his report, and he went forth to meet him with a heavy people and strong force, and engaged in battle with him in the field of Edom. And the hand of Ketim prevailed over the children of Esau. And the children of Ketim slew of the children of Esau two and twenty thousand men. And all the children of Esau fled from before them. And the children of Ketim pursued them, and they reached Hadad, king of Edom, who was running before them, and they caught him alive and brought him to Abinias, rather, Abianus, king of Ketim. And Abianus ordered him to be slain. And Hadad, king of Edom, died in the 48th year of his reign. And the children of Ketim continued their pursuit of Edom, and they smote them with a great slaughter, and Edom became subject to the children of Ketim. And the children of Ketim ruled over Edom, and Edom became under the hand of the children of Ketim, and became one kingdom from that day. And from that time they could no more lift up their heads, and their kingdom became one with the children of Ketim. And Abianus placed officers in Edom, and all the children of Edom became subject and tributary to Abinias. And Abianus turned back to his own land, Ketim. And when he returned, he renewed his government and built for himself a spacious and fortified palace for a royal residence and reigned securely over the children of Ketim and over Edom. In those days, after the children of Yashara'el had driven away all the Kena'anim and the Amorim, Yahusha was old and advanced in years. And Yahuwah said to Yahusha, You are old, advanced in life, and a great part of the land remains to be possessed. Now therefore, divide this land for an inheritance to the nine tribes and to the half-tribe of Manasheh. And Yahusha rose up and did as Yahuwah had spoken to him. And he divided the whole land to the tribes of Yashara'el as an inheritance according to their divisions. But to the tribe at Levi he gave no inheritance. The offerings of Yahuwah are their inheritance. As Yahuwah had spoken of them by the hand of Moshe. And Yahusha gave Mount Hebron to Caleb, the son of Yaphneah, 
one portion above his brethren, as Yahuwah had spoken through Moshe. Therefore, Hebron became an inheritance to Caleb and his children unto this day. And Yahusha divided the whole land by lots to all Yashar'el for an inheritance, as Yahuwah had commanded him. And the children of Yashar'el gave cities to the Levim from their own inheritance and suburbs for their cattle and property, as Yahuwah had commanded Moshe. So did the children of Yashara'el, and they divided the land by lot, whether great or small, and they went to inherit the land according to their boundaries, and the children of Yashara'el gave to Yahusha, the son of Nun, an inheritance among them. By the word of Yahuwah did they give to him the city which he required, Timnat Sarach in Mount Ephraim, and he built the city and dwelt therein. These are the inheritances which Eleazar, the priest, and Yahusha, the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes portioned out to the children of Yashara'el by lot in Shiloh. Before Yahuwah at the door of the tabernacle, and they left off dividing the land. And Yahuwah gave the land to Yashara'el, and they possessed it, as Yahuwah had spoken to them, and as Yahuwah had sworn to their ancestors. And Yahuwah gave to Yashara'el rest from all their enemies around them, and no man stood up against them. And Yahuwah delivered all their enemies into their hands, and not one thing failed of all the good which Yahuwah had spoken to the children of Yashara'el. Yea, Yahuwah performed everything. And Yahusha called to all the children of Yashara'el, and he blessed them and commanded them to serve Yahuwah. And he afterward sent them away. And they went each man to his city, and each man to his inheritance. And the children of Yashara'el served Yahuwah all the days of Yahusha, and Yahuwah gave them rest from all around them, and they dwelt securely in their cities. And it came to pass in those days that Abianus, king of Kittim, died in the 38th year of his reign, that is, the seventh year of his reign over Edom, and they buried him in his place, which he had built for himself. And Latinus reigned in his stead fifty years. And during his reign he brought forth an army, and he went and fought against the inhabitants of Britannia and Kernania, the children of Elisha, son of Yavan, and he prevailed over them and made them tributary. He then heard that Edom had revolted from under the hand of Kittim, and Latinus went to them and smote them and subdued them and placed them under the hand of the children of Kittim. And Edom became one kingdom with the children of Kittim all the days. And for many years there was no king in the Edom, and their government was with the children of Kittim and their king.
And it was in the twenty-sixth year, after the children of Yashadael had passed the Ardan, that is, the sixty-sixth year, after the children of Yashadael had departed from Mitzrayim, that Yahusha was old, advanced in years, being one hundred and eight years old in those days. And Yahusha called to all Yashara'el, to their elders, their judges, and officers. After Yahuwah had given to all Yashara'el rest from all their enemies round about. And Yahusha said to the elders of Yashara'el and to their judges, Behold, I am old, advanced in years, and you have seen what Yahuwah has done to all the nations whom he has driven away from before you. For it is Yahuwah who has fought for you. Now, therefore, strengthen yourselves to guard and to do all the words of the Torah of Moshe, not to deviate from it to the right or to the left, and not to come amongst those nations who are left in the land. Neither shall you make mention of the name of their Elohim, but you shall cleave to Yahuwah Elohecha, as you have done to this day. And Yahusha greatly exhorted the children of Yashara'el to serve Yahuwah all their days. And all Yashara'el said, we will serve Yahuwah Eloheinu all our days, we and our children, and our children's children, and our seed forever. And Yahusha cut a covenant with the people on that day, and he sent away the children of Yashara'el, and they went each man to his inheritance and to his city. And it was in those days when the children of Yashara'el were dwelling securely in their cities that they buried the coffins of the tribes of their ancestors, which they had brought up from Mitzrayim, each man in the inheritance of his children. The twelve sons of Yaakov did the children of Yashara'el bury, each man in the possession of his children. And these are the names of the cities wherein they buried the twelve sons of Yaakov, whom the children of Yashara'el had brought up from Mitzrayim. And they buried Reuven and Gad on this side of the Yardan in Romia, which Moshe had given to their children. And Shimon and Levi, they buried in the city Mauda, which he had given to the children of Shimon. And the suburb of the city was for the children of Levi. And Yahuda, they buried in the city of Binyamin, opposite Beit Lechem. And the bones of Yishachar and Zevelin they buried in Sidon, in the portion which fell to their children. And Dan was buried in the city of his children in Eshtael, and Naphtali, and Asher. They buried in Kadesh Naphtali, each man in his place, which he had given to his children. And the bones of Yosef they buried in Shechem, in the part of the field which Yaakov had purchased from Chemor, and which became to Yosef for an inheritance. And they buried Binyamin in Yerushalayim, opposite the Yavusi, which was given to the children of Binyamin, the children of Yashara'el, buried their fathers, each man 
in the city of his children. And at the end of two years, Yahusha, the son of Nun, died, 110 years old. And the time which Yahusha judged Yashara'el was 28 years. And Yashara'el served Yahuwah all the days of his life. And the other affairs of Yahusha and his battles and his reproofs with which he reproved Yashara'el and all which he had commanded them and the names of the cities which the children of Yashara'el possessed in his days. Behold, they are written in the Sefer of the words of Yahusha to the children of Yashara'el and in the Sefer of the wars of Yahuwah, which Moshe and Yahusha and the children of Yashara'el had written. And the children of Yashara'el buried Yahusha in the border of his inheritance in Timnath, Serach, which was given to him in Mount Ephraim. And Eleazar, the son of Aharon, died in those days, and they buried him in a hill belonging to Pinichach, his son, which was given him in Mount Ephraim.